Hello, all you wonderful people. Long time no see. I already got one video ready to come up. After I, I just have to trim off the edges and put my name on there and I'll be ready to upload it. So hopefully I'll unload it first. But I'm Lisa from Living Life with Lisa and on this channel we talk about trying to live life to the fullest with chronic illness. I personally have been diagnosed with uh, early onset dementia and um, have gene mutation, MTHFR, among some other things. <laughs> uh, but uh, I've been on here for a while. I just, um, it takes, it's getting to where it takes a lot more effort than it used to. Um, used to, I just turn it on and go. Um, now, um, I think I don't have anything to say. I wanted to get on today because today was um, one of those bad word days. I couldn't think of, I have a hard time carrying on conversations with people because I can't remember my words. Um, but I took a nap because sometimes that helps. But I'm still having some issues this afternoon. But it's all right um uh, two of my boys have gone fishing um and they have kayaks and so the teenagers have gone fishing um the little one yet doesn't like to go fishing and i like to go casting i like to cast the pole and reel it in cast and reel cast and reel and if a fish happens to grab onto the hook one of the times I cast it in the water, yay, that's just uh, more of a benefit. Um, if not, oh well. <laughs> because, because I do not have patience for fishing. There's nothing in it for me. Um, but I don't like to just stand there, so, you know, to supervise. So I always cast when I would take them fishing when they're little. But, um, I think Aiden is the one that picked up on it first because he said, you don't fish, you cast. And I, <laughs> I know, it's the only part I like. And so, um, anyway, we're going, they're going to be out there until 8.30. I'm going to go pick them up at 8.30. Um, it looks like it's trying to play, my car's trying to play a DVD and, um, because Randy's playing and messing around with it. Uh, so I stop that before I get a copyright strike for something I don't even know is playing. Um, but it's been kind of frustrating um, lately just because I'm becoming more and more aware of limitations and um, I'm trying so hard to not have them. Um, kids are kind of resentful and I can't say as I blame them. They don't have the mindset yet to comprehend everything that's going on. There's full grown caregivers out there that can't figure out what's going on and are impatient and um, feel put out sometimes. And so I don't blame them. You know, it's not, I, I can't expect them to be superhuman and be better than even adults are. So, I understand it. So, when I'm able to get out and do things for them or with them, then I do. And I made this car. is on the highway and it's getting slower and slower. I don't know what they're doing, but we'll be going 20 miles an hour and I'll never get home. And so, Jesse's going home, or Jesse's at home, and I just dropped her Andy off and I'll try to put a clip of him um, out on the water on his kayak. He's got a blow up one. Aiden actually bought one with his money from working. And so he was already out. Um, and we had, I had to run Randy home because they were each texting me to go fishing. And they had two different plans. So it was obvious that the two of them had not talked to each other. And I said, talk to, talk to each other and figure this out. And change plans probably changed 15 times it felt like it was more like four or five but um anyway we got got it taken care of we got got him in the water 
they're fishing. The, um, Aiden's got will have four hour, at least four hours in the water, and Brittany's gonna have at least three hours in the water. So um, they'll be ready to go when it's time. And we have a, a, a national park that's not far from our house that we can go to, but um, I want to wait until uh, next payday uh, to. Uh, get a park pass and then we can come and go as we please and they can get uh, register their canoes no they don't have canoes they have kayaks uh, register their kayaks um, at the park for five dollars for a whole year and they can use their kayaks at any state park in the state of Indiana for five bucks so that's not a bad deal and we'll probably do it because there's another Park. I'm not sure if it's state or not. It's not very far the other way, and there's a natural um, uh, wildlife preserve over there. And so I'm not sure they even allow fishing, to tell you the truth, but there's a river that goes through there that would have some good fish in it, in it I think. This is not meant to be turned into a fishing video, believe me. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't. That's not high up on my list of, let's go do this. Um, but I am glad that they have something they can do together. And without me hovering over them. And um, I know they're safe. And so I'm not, it's, it's, a, nice, it's a nice activity. Um, I was thinking about it earlier and... Um, I don't know, and a lot of you are about the same age as me or older, and when we grew up, we didn't grow up with bubble wrap around us. Um, we grew up with the skin knees and the chipped teeth and the busted nose and uh, cuts and scrapes and broken bones and got up, brushed it off and went on and never gave it a thought. It was just part of growing up. And, um, you know, now it seems like um, people that have children the same age as mine um, wrap their kids up in a bubble and act as though I'm doing something wrong by giving my kids a little bit of freedom. And... Um, you know, and that's just a matter of opinion, but, you know, they haven't had any broken bones, thank goodness, but they've had these bumps and bruises and the scrapes and learned by doing, and, um, you know, they're not, a, hopefully not afraid, and so, um, I don't know which is better, but, um, I won't apologize for put my kids out there uh, that's just like you know uh, there's a reason I'm saying this and I don't want to go into the reason because I don't know who I watch is from my area but uh, uh, some kids can't go because I'm not going to be there well no <laughs> they'd be fishing me out of the water I'm the the overway uh, soon to be si senior citizen out there in a kayak with a life jacket on. I, I can't figure out how they're sitting in a canoe and, and casting their reel, but they seem to have no problem with it. So, uh, like I said, I'm more, I'd be the one they'd have to save. It wouldn't be the other way around. But I make no apologies. So, um, anyway, this has really been a rambling video. Um, I just wanted to get out there and say hey because it's been so long. I don't know um, oh, turn. I got to take a picture of this. Uh, one of these days I'm going to take a picture of this road out here that I've got to um, drive on. There is potholes all the way across the road. There is no way to avoid them and it is insane. And right now I got somebody in my lane, but I know why they're in my lane because the other side of the road's tore up. So they have to go over on their side of the lane. 
and we're all gonna get in holes and um see it's just i gotta show you and then you drive you drive like you it looks like you're drunk when you drive in indiana because you're trying to dodge everything so you don't bust a tire or rim or something but uh, there's no excuse for it. That's what I say. Anyway, um, I'm almost home. Our mower's broke. So those of you that have been, been around the block with me for a few years know that, what that means. Um, so I got somebody supposed to be coming hopefully this weekend to fix the mower. I don't know who that was I just waved to, but good to see y'all. They were waving big time. Um, so, um, hopefully we'll get that lawnmower fixed and get this grass cut, because it is getting knee high to, well, me. I'm the shortest one in the family. Or Jesse. Right, knee high Jesse. Um, so, get, get in there. And remember, live life to the fullest. Live life with no regrets do what you can try to have a good time and be nice and we'll see you later bye bye